This cauliflower bake is a cheesy, delicious vegetarian side dish recipe that will impress your family and friends. Let me show you how I made it. Firstly, soaking of cauliflower into water with salt is absolutely essential for a good 15 to 20 minutes. The florets do have a couple of hidden stuff which we do not want to consume, so soaking is a must. So I just took a bowl, I've added water, cauliflower florets and salt. Given it a mix and I'm going to let it soak for a good 20 minutes. I have drained the cauliflower and I have put some water for boiling. Once the water comes to a rapid boil, add the cauliflower and let this boil till it's fork tender. Fork tender in the sense, take a fork and you should be able to break up the cauliflower. Drain it again. This is a baking dish in which I'm going to be presenting the final dish. So just put your boiled cauliflower in it and keep it aside. Now in the same pot, I'm going to make a white sauce. I've added butter, which is regular amul butter, salted. To this, I'm going to be adding maida, which is also called as all-purpose flour or refined flour. I'm going to give it a whisk. Let the maida cook for a minute or so and add in the milk. While you're adding the milk, keep note, you have to keep stirring the white sauce so that it does not form any lumps. Now we are going to bring this to a boil and you will realize the final product of the white sauce should be able to coat the back of your spoon. That is a sign that the white sauce is cooked and the consistency is right. Here I have added salt, pepper and oregano for some extra flavors. Go easy on the salt because we are going to be adding cheese later as well. Now this is the thickness which we need and it coats the back of the spoon. Now I'm pouring the entire white sauce in that baking dish all over the cauliflower and of course on top goes lots and lots of cheese. This is a regular processed cheese which is a blend actually between mozzarella and cheddar. That is what I am using. Use a cheese that melts well. Then I baked it for 180 for about 15 minutes, broiled it for 2 minutes and this is the end result. Absolutely easy to make and a perfect side dish to serve for a crowd. This cheesy cauliflower bake recipe will sure to wow all your guests and family. Everyone is going to want to go for seconds and a great way to have your kids eating more vegetables. Lots of options, you can do cauliflower broccoli, you could do cauliflower potato, you could add some chicken bits, you could add some bacon bits. Give it a try and happy baking!